It's time for the Hollywood Video High Five Challenge. A weekly go to Hollywood. By the Emporium, your family department store. By Pepsi, Generation Next. By ABC Technologies, enabling better management decisions. By Sears, come see the many sides of Sears. By Bose, better sound through research. And now, here's the host of High Five, Wayne Palagowski. Thank you, John Williams, and welcome again, everybody, to another edition of the Hollywood Video High Five Challenge. I'm your host, Wayne Falagowski. You know, every so often we have a show where there are two teams that have never been on High Five before, and that's the case today. So let's meet those two teams. First, off to my right, from Glendale High, from Glendale, Oregon, let's hear it for the Pirates. Come on on. And from Washington State, let's hear it for the Iwako High Fishermen. Okay, they're all dressed in their Hawaiian shirts. Now, we always start both teams off with 2,000 points to play with, and we do have 2,000 points on the board. Let's check the first five categories for today. We'll have states, television, geology, rock bands, and the 90s. Let's go to that first category. Okay, we'll start off with the 1990s. The butterflies will disappear after a category or two, I, I guarantee it. Here we go with 40 points and good luck. In 1990, militant members of this Indian tribe came into conflict with authorities in Canada in the region of Kanastaki. That was the Mohawk. The 90s for 10 points. This Secretary of Labor resigned in 1990 to assume a leadership post with the Red Cross. It gets easier, Elizabeth Dole. The 1990s for 10 points. In October of 1993, this senator's personal diaries were subpoenaed by unanimous vote of a Senate committee. Ilwako. Okay, Kara. Bob Packwood. That is correct, Bob Packwood and Ilwako is on the board. For 20 points, Kurdish refugees from this nation fled mainly to Iran and Turkey in 1991. Ilwako. Hey, Kara. Yugoslavia. That is incorrect, Ilwako. Okay, Glendale, three seconds. It is Iraq. And the 90s for 20 points. This missile was fired from remote launchers in early 1991 to intercept incoming Scud missiles. Okay, Glendale. Uh, Lana. Patriot missile. Patriots, very good, for 20 points. I told you it gets easier. Okay, let's go to the next category. Okay, rock bands, I think the butterflies have already disappeared. They're smiling, finally. For 20 points in rock bands, Sweet Dreams Are Made of This was recorded by this group. Il Waco. Okay, Amelia. The Eurythmics. That's correct, for 20 points. Rock bands for 10 points. One of this English rocker's greatest hits is Sad Songs. Ilwako. Amelia. Elton John. Yes, for 10 points. Very good. Rock bands for 20 points. Joshua Tree is one of this group's best known albums. Ilwako. Amelia. U2. U2, yes, for 20 points. Rock bands for 10 points. This vocalist sings lead for Seattle's Pearl Jam. A steal by okay, Glendale. Okay, Nova's going to steal for Glendale. Eddie Vedder. Eddie Vedder, yes, okay, for 10 points. And rock bands for 40 points. This band's first album, Slip, was quickly followed by a second, Manic Compression. Okay, we got one past Amelia this time. It was quicksand. Okay, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the pirates after these messages.
right now at Hollywood Video, this movie is guaranteed to be waiting for you to rent. Who's that guy? He's a U.S. Ranger hitching a ride home. Con Air invites you to sit back. Isn't that your car? Relax. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna sit there. And enjoy the ride. Buckle up. Woo! From Jerry Bruckheimer. Con Air. Guaranteed to be in stock at Hollywood Video. One entertainment, go to Hollywood. Hollywood Video. Thanks, everybody. Welcome back. Let's check the scores. Iwako's in the lead with 2,040 points, and Glendale not very far behind with 2,030. Before we go to the next category, John Williams introduced the Pirates of Glendale High, which is near Roseburg, between Roseburg and Grants Pass, Oregon. All righty, Wayne. This team profile brought to you by Pepsi, Generation Next. First up for Glendale, senior Hope Guard. Hope rides and trains horses. She's active in 4-H and has placed third in the Oregon 4-H Horse Bowl. She's an honor student and student council president. Welcome senior Jason Allen. Jason is homecoming king this year. He's active in 4-H, he plays Babe Ruth baseball, and he's in the pep band. His favorite subjects include journalism and broadcasting. Welcome junior Alana Collins. Alana is a cheerleader. She's also, uh, she also compiles baseball stats. She's received the most potential award from the U of O. She likes to swim, play piano, or the flute. Next up, junior Lisa Harrison, Diana to her friends. She is a 4.0 student, also plays basketball, runs cross country and track, and is in the band. She is also currently restoring a 55 Ford pickup. Junior Nova Prince Kelly has a perfect 4.0. She's a cheerleader, plays basketball, and is on the student council. This future veterinarian loves horses. Welcome senior Amanda Spear. Amanda is president of her 4-H club and a junior leader. She's active in student government and has a perfect 4.0. And finally, we welcome junior Mark Griffith, or Griff, to his pals. He plays football, wrestles, he's in track, as well as junior class vice president. He enjoys all sports, reading, and hiking. Here's the Pirates of Glendale High School. Okay, thank you, John Wayne. Of course, we'll meet Iwaka later on. But right now, let's go to the next category. Okay, geology. For 10 points, this type of thermal spring intermittently emits water under considerable force. Okay, Glendale, up we have a steel, steel from Sarah from Iwako's side. Okay, talk it over. Geyser. Geyser, yes, for 10 points. Very good. <laughs> geology for 10 points again. This is the name given to the portion of soil made up of decomposing organic matter. That is called humus. Geology for 40 points. Igneous or sedimentary rock that has been transformed by heat or pressure becomes this type of rock. Glendale. Oh, 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 no, we steel. have another seal again from Sarah's. Always stealing hopes. Okay. Metamorphic. Metamorphic, yes, very good for 40 points. <laughs> Geology for 20 points. This gas is the major constituent of natural gas. That is called methane. And geology for 20 points. This partly carbonized vegetable matter is the first stage in the formation of coal. That is called peat or peat moss. Okay, let's go to the next category. States for 10 points. This state's nickname is the Empire State. Ilwako. Okay, Kara. New York. New York, yes, for 10 points. <laughs> States for 10 points again. Bismarck is the capital of this Northern Plains state. Ilwako. Okay, Peter. North Dakota. Yes, for 10 points. <laughs> for 20 points, Jefferson City is the capital of this Midwestern state. Glendale. Okay, Alana. I didn't ring in. Quickly. I didn't ring in. Just yes, give a guess. Anything. Okay, Iwako, three seconds. It is Missouri. States for 20 points. Also known as the Winter Salad Bowl State, this is the Sunshine State. Glendale. Okay, Hope. Florida. Florida, yes, for 20 points. And states for 40 points. 
An airplane flying out of Bozeman, Montana on a compass heading of 280 degrees would first cross into the airspace of this state. Glendale. Alana. Idaho. Idaho, yes, for 40 points. Very good. Let's go to the next category. Okay, it's television for 10 points. Northern Exposure's Bush pilot, Maggie O'Connell, was played by this actress. She would be crushed if you didn't know her name. Janine Turner. Hasn't been that many years off the tube. Television for 10 points. Meredith Baxter Burney and Michael Gross were the parents in this NBC sitcom. That was Family Ties. Television for 20 points. This series revolved around Blake's two wives, Crystal and Alexis. That was Dynasty. Television for 40 points. In this hot early 90s drama series, James Earl Jones played an ex-cop sent to prison for shooting his partner. That is Gabriel's Fire. And television for 20 points. The supporting actors in this NBC sitcom threatened to walk if they weren't each paid $1 million per episode. Just like Jerry, they settled for 600000 Oh, now we have a like deal. Glendale. Okay, they were both going for that one. Nova, come around. Talk it over with your teammates, Nova. And then come to the center. Yeah. Friends? That is incorrect, Glendale. Okay, Ilwako, you have three seconds. Okay, Peter. Steinfeld? Seinfeld, yes, okay. That's five categories. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the fishermen of Ilwako after these messages. Solo. I don't want you tracking me, Dante. You might be tempted to interfere. Through the darkest jungles of South America. Where the hell's the jewel? In search of the ultimate prize. My people, destiny has returned to us. But when the mission calls for backup, they're face to face. And that temple is an 800-year-old solar-powered ray gun. With an incredible force. An all-new Team Knight Rider. Tonight at 5 on Oregon's 12. Shot down in a hostile jungle. Those troops had to see our plane go down. Can't attack, can't hide, and we can't retreat. Matt and Marco have nowhere to turn. We're fresh out of options. Except to each other. It's another day at the beach. From producer Jerry Bruckheimer comes the best action series on television. Today is definitely not a good enough day to die. Incoming! Soldier of Fortune, Inc. Tonight at 6 on Oregon's 12. You can make the most of your weekend with the new A&E. Check out the Neighborhood Browser, your guide to all of Portland's best-kept secrets. Wondering what to do with the family besides counseling? Try the Family Fun section. Hey, want to save some money? Plenty of cheap ideas. You know, there are so many entertainment options that if you laid them end-to-end, -end, they would reach to the sun and back again. everybody welcome back let's check the scores glendale has 2030 points and Ilwaco 2130 they got a 100 point lead before we go to the next five categories john williams introduced the fisherman of Ilwaco. hi all righty wayne this team profile brought to you by abc technologies enabling better management decisions first up for Ilwaco senior sarah cook sarah is a cheerleader runs track plays in jazz and pep bands and is on the staff of her school newspaper. This honor roll student is president of her honor society. Say hello to senior Peter Lindahl. Peter is on the board of directors of Oregon Greyhound Rescue and is a 4-H exchange student, editor-in-chief of the school newspaper. Peter speaks Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, and French. Next up, Adam Lindsley. Adam carries a perfect 4.0. This sophomore's favorite class is journalism. He's the editorial cartoonist for his school newspaper. Adam enjoys writing, drawing, and listening to music. We welcome senior Kara Lashley. Kara is on the principal's honor roll. She's been editor-in-chief of the school newspaper in jazz band, pep band, and a member of Evergreen Girls State. And say hello to senior Bryn Walker. Bryn is a member of the Portland Youth Philharmonic Preparatory Orchestra and gives trumpet lessons on the side. 
she has a perfect 4.0. And finally, we welcome junior Amelia Holman. Amelia is an active volunteer with clam chowder and crab feeds, school carnivals, and music booster fundraisers. She carries a perfect 4.0 and plays second trumpet in the jazz band. Say aloha to the fishermen of El Waco. I guess so, with those kind of shirts. And, and Peter, I'd like to ask you real quick about the uh, Greyhound, Adopt the Greyhound. Uh, what kind of pets do Greyhounds make? Oh, they're great pets. They don't bark, they don't jump. They lay there like they get pets. But like if they ever run the away, beach. you have to chase pretty fast after them. Oh, they, we live at the beach, so they like to run on the beach and things like that. Keep you in shape. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's check the next five categories for today. They will be Early America, China, Potpourri, Straits, and Trivia. Let's go to that next category. Okay, we'll start off with trivia for the second half. For 20 points, in Roman numerals, a V with a line over it stands for this number. Okay, Glendale. Mark. Five. Say it again. Five. That's incorrect, Glendale. Okay, El Waco, three seconds. Okay, Peter. Ten. That is also incorrect. It was a V with a line over it means 5,000. A V, plain V, is five. Trivia for 10 points. A squab is a baby whose parents are this animal. That is a pigeon. Trivia, I see some itchy fingers, but nobody really wanted to bring in on that one. Trivia for 10 points. Draco, Ares, and Ursa Major are all names for these. A steal by Iwako. Okay, Bryn's coming around, and she's gonna talk it over with the teammates. Constellations? That's correct, Constellations, very good. Trivia for 20 points. Rhea Perlman, who played Carla in Cheers, is married to this man. Ilwaco. Okay, Peter. Danny DeVito. Yes, very good for 20 points. And trivia for 40 points. A three and a half inch floppy disk for the IBM PC holds this many megabytes of data. No computer experts here. Okay, 1.44. Let's go to the next category. Early America. I wonder if our scorer, Chris Williams, knew that. Did you, Chris? Yeah. You bet, he says. Okay. And how about you, Herb Fisher? I got two points. He had it backwards. Okay. <laughs> Early America for 20 points. This part of Canada was acquired by the United States as a result of the War of 1812. Glendale. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Is it a true false question? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Give an answer. Okay, Glendale. Il Waco, three seconds. Okay, the answer was none. The answer was none. <laughs> Early America for 40 points. Known to his troops as Little Phil, President Lincoln said this cavalryman is a little Irishman, but he is a big fighter. <laughs> Philip Sheridan. No, we do not have any true or false questions. <laughs> Early America for 10 points. This politician's Freeport doctrine won him a seat in the U.S. Senate, but split the Democratic Party. That was Stephen Douglas. Early America for 20 points. Baron von Steuben was instrumental in training American troops during this conflict. That was the American Revolution. And Early America for 10 points. Name the writer who inspired the Patriots during the American Revolution and in 1791 defended the French Revolution in the rights of man. Ilwako. Okay, Kara. Thomas Paine. That's correct, Thomas Paine for 10 points. We avoided a shutout because of that. Let's go to the next category. Straits, I don't know if that was as much an answer as a question, but she got it right. Straits for 20 points. Name the 38 mile straight between the Aegean Sea and the Sea of Mar 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 Marmara. There we go. Okay, Glendale. Oh, oh, hold it, we got a seal here from Milwaukee, from Bryn. Okay, come around there. The Dardanelles? Dardanelles is correct, yes, for 20 points. <laughs> Straits for 20 points. The straight known as the Dardanelles is in this country. Glendale. Okay, Mark. Turkey. Turkey is correct, yes. <laughs> Make sure I give your name first because I'd have to disqualify you otherwise, okay? Straits for 10 points because someone else may have rung in. Straits for 10 points. Name one of the two countries that control land on both sides of the Strait of Magellan. 
Glendale. Okay, Mark. <laughs> okay, Mark. Glendale. Okay. Bill Waco, three seconds. Kara. Argentina. Argentina or Chile. Straights for 10 points. This straight leads from the Pacific Ocean to the Chukchi Sea. That is the Bering Strait. And straights for 40 points. The International Dateline passes through this strait. That is the Bering Strait. Let's go to the next category. China. For 10 points. In 1915, this country forced a brutal 21 demands upon China. That was Japan. China for 10 points. This luxurious fabric has been made in China from the cocoon of a mulberry worm for more than 4,000 years. Glendale. Okay, Hope. Silk. Silk, yes, for 10 points. China for 20 points. In 1894, China leased the new territories to Hong Kong for this many years. Ilwako. Okay, Kara. 100 years. That is incorrect, Ilwako. Okay, Glendale, three seconds. Okay, oh. Mark, go oh. ahead. 99 years. 99 years, yes. And please let me give your name first. China for 20 points. This green gemstone was often carved by Chinese artisans to create intricate sculptures and highly prized jewelry. Ilwako, but it's oh. steel now, now by Glendale. Steel by Alana from Glendale. Come around and talk it over with your teammates. Okay. Jade? Jade is correct for 20 points. China for 40 points. He was the leader of the Mongol army, that Mongol army that invaded China in 1279 and established the Yuan dynasty. Another steal by Glendale. Lana from Glendale is stealing their second. Genghis Khan? That is incorrect, Glendale. Okay, Iwako, three seconds. It was Kublai Khan, Kublai Khan. Let's check that final category for today. Okay, it's potpourri and all point values be worth double, so you stick around. We'll be right back and we'll check those scores. On the next episode of Seinfeld. What gives you pleasure? Listening to you. <laughs> I listen to this for 15 minutes, I'm on top of the world. Your misery is my pleasure. English? No. No. I would like to dip my bald head in oil and rub it all over your body. And before you go, would you mind changing my diaper? Tonight at 7 on Oregon's 12. The gladiators of motorsports. Superstars of the Motor Spectacular Champions of the Monster Truck Challenge. Live and in overdrive. Live at the Rose Park. It's the Napa Auto Parts. Four spectacular. Three giant shows. February 6th, 7th, and 8th. Monster, Monster Trucks. And Granary's 4 before Pro Arena Truck Competition. Super value seats only $10 at Ticketmaster. The Napa Auto Parts Motor Spectacular. Live. 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 And in overdrive. Right now at Hollywood Video, this movie is guaranteed to be waiting for you to rent. Who's that guy? He's a U.S. Ranger hitching a ride home. Con Air invites you to sit back. Isn't that your car? Relax. What are you going to do? I'm going to sit today. And enjoy the ride. Buckle up. Woo! From Jerry Bruckheimer. Con Air. Guaranteed to be in stock at Hollywood Video. One entertainment? Go to Hollywood. Hollywood Video. Okay, thanks everybody and welcome back to the Hollywood Video High Five Challenge. Let's check the scores. Ilwako's in the lead now with 2,160. Glendale has 1,970. Before we go to that final category, John Williams, these teams will receive what for their efforts today? Well, Wayne, all students and coaches from both teams receive CD versions of the American Concise Encyclopedia containing more than 15,000 up-to-date entries. A must for the home or office provided by Charter Investment Group of Portland. 
All players from today's winning team receive two all-day admission passes to Wild Waves Park and Enchanted Village in Federal Way, Washington, featuring the Northwest's largest wave pool, as well as more than a dozen action-packed water slides. The action never stops at Wild Waves. All students and coaches from today's runner-up team each receive lunch or brunch certificates courtesy of McCormick and Schmick's family of fine restaurants. Featuring Pacific Northwest seafood and other regional favorites, open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Following regular season play, the school that wins the fifth annual championship of the High Five Challenge receives a Bose Lifestyle 12 home theater system, a perfect addition to a school's drama or music department. The runner-up school receives a pair of Bose 301 Series 4 direct reflecting speakers, both prizes provided by Bose and Sears. Step into the audio department at Sears Brand Central today. Back to you, Wayne. Thank you, John Williams. And before we go to that final category, a lot of people may not know where Glendale High school is and where is Glendale Oregon first where is Glendale Oregon it's halfway between Roseburg and Grants Pass and what is the area known for um, mostly for logging and our football team also put them on the map really how do they do um, very good very good <laughs> they made it. <laughs> did they win the state no but close very close okay now let's go to that final category now you know where Glendale is we'll find out uh, in our later show where Iwako is potpourri for 20 points there are two reasons that Venus appears to be a brighter object in the sky than Mars. One is that it is larger. Name the other. Glendale. Okay, Mark. It's more luminescence or it reflects more sunlight. From okay, Mars. closer to the sun. Yes, that's right. Okay, Mark, for, that's worth 20 points. Potpourri for 40 points. The southern border of Virginia is formed by Tennessee and this other state. That is North Carolina. Potpourri for 80 points. This Asian nation lost approximately half its population of 8 million in 1979 to famine, pestilence, and slaughter. That was Cambodia. Potpourri for 40 points. Consider a right triangle whose legs are equal to 5 and 5 times the square root of 3. This is the length of the hypotenuse. That is 10. And potpourri for 20 points. Protium is another name for the most abundant isotope of this element. That is hydrogen. Now let's check the scores today. Glendale ended up with 1,990 points. Iwako, 2,160. Today's winner, the team from Iwako. Let's hear it for both teams. And of course, don't forget these teams will be back on later on the season to take on each other again. Thanks for joining us. So long, everybody. Way to go. Sheriff's office busted an hour.